This is the Nautilus Scrubber Sweeper Operator Training Video. This machine is the Nautilus High Dump, capable of dumping into any 60 inch dumpster. This is the Nautilus Manual Dump Machine. And you simply empty two ergonomic trays into any standard dumpster. Both the Nautilus manual dump and high dump utilize the cylindrical scrubbing sweeping method. You have two hydraulically driven scrub brushes. The front brush is turning counterclockwise, catching debris and throwing it into the path of the second brush which is turning clockwise carrying debris over and into your debris hopper. The debris hopper catches the trash, the water siphons through to the bottom and then is evacuated from this hopper. Materials that it will not sweep are shrink wrap, banding, and large skid boards. Those should be picked up and not swept or scrubbed. Smaller pallet chips and smaller debris are fine to be swept with this machine. The operator control panel on the Nautilus high dump. To start the machine, simply turn the key switch to the on position. You always start the machine in the turtle or idle position with the switch down. To operate the machine in full sweep scrub motion, simply flip the switch to the rabbit position. To shut the machine off, you always want to idle the machine back down to the turtle position by rockering the switch back to the turtle position. Then you can turn the machine off by turning the key back to the left. You can warn oncoming traffic you're entering an aisle by simply pressing the horn switch above the key. The directional pedal to go forward, simply press your foot in the forward position to send the machine forward. To re go in reverse, simply rock your heel backward to get the machine to travel in reverse. To brake the machine, simply depress the parking brake. To lock the parking brake or engage the parking brake, press your toe down to lock the machine into park. The proper way to start the machine is to have your foot placed on the brake. Then you can start the machine. If your foot is on the foot pedal when you're trying to start the machine, it will not allow the engine to crank. We are now looking at the operator's control panel for the Nautilus high dump machine. The green master switch turns all functions on and off. By simply rockering the switch from the zero position to the one position. You can set or select what functions you would like turned on and off with the master switch by selecting the squeegee, brushes, brush pressure, and water flow. You would rocker the switch for the squeegee downward to turn the vacuum on. You rocker the switch for the brushes downward to turn the brushes on. Then you would select your brush pressure and your water flow by dialing the dials to the selected choice. The water does have an off position, a medium or normal flow, and a high volume. The brush pressure, you can select light, medium, or high brush pressure. You simply turn all these functions on again with a master switch by rockering it to the number one position. The operator can also select which functions he would like to change while in operation mode. If the operator would like to turn off the scrub brushes and just recover water off the floor, he would simply rocker the scrub brush switch forward to turn the brushes off. The squeegee would remain on 
and now you'll be able to just dry the floor. You can also select brush pressure and change water flow while in operation mode. You do not have to stop or turn the machine off to do so. A recovery tank full light and a solution tank empty light. When the operator needs to drain the dirty water, this recovery tank light will illuminate, telling the operator he needs to travel back to the dumping area to evacuate the dirty water. You also have a solution light that will be illuminated when your solution is almost completely empty. We are now looking at the operator warning lights for the engine. If any of these lights are illuminated during operation for longer than a few seconds, turn the machine off and contact your maintenance supervisor. To the left, you will notice the optional LP gas low indicator light. This light will be illuminated when the bottle is near empty. This is an optional item. The Nautilus offers a tilt wheel steering as standard equipment. The operator simply releases the lever, places the steering wheel in the most ergonomic position and relocks the lever. The Nautilus machines are equipped with head and tail lights standard. Simply rocker the switch forward to turn the lights on, rocker them backwards, turning them off. Nautilus has a standard hour meter on the left hand side of the operator's compartment. We're now looking at the Nautilus high dump dumping controls. The first step is to raise the squeegee. The second step is to raise the debris hopper. Third step is to dump, open the door and dump the debris. You can raise the squeegee and the hopper together simultaneously by depressing both switches at the same time raising them up and over your dumpster and then opening the door to dump the trash. To lower the hopper and the squeegee you can press both switches at the same time to lower the hopper and lock it into place. We're now going to go through the dump process for the manual dump Nautilus. We're going to extend the bumper raise arm first then we are going to push down on the bumper latch allowing the bumper to be released and raised. There's a safety latch that will engage when the bumper is raised to the, the raised height. This will allow you now to access the collection hopper underneath the machine. Simply grab the, the orange arm, pull back towards you. The hopper drops back down to the four casters, allowing you to access the debris trays. We have two debris trays which ergonomically splits the debris load into two so you can easily deposit the trash in any dumpster or trash receptacle. Simply put the trays back into place, maneuver the entire hopper in between the wheel wells in the back of the machine, and then when you reclose the squeegee bumper, it's going to load the hopper back into place for you. The biggest thing is you have to get it in between the wheel wells. between the wheel wells and you simply release the hopper safety arm, push down, gently bumping the hopper into place, close the bumper until it's latched. Now you've relocated the bumper in place. Here's the manual dumping process. Simply lift the hopper out with the ergonomic handle, deposit it into any trash can. 